to my channel also welcome if you're new here i just want to say thank you for clicking on this video don't forget to like and subscribe but i mean watch the entire video first please and so today we're going to talk about my experience with braces as well as my experience with retainers as you can see i don't have them in right now because they're like i'm getting i'm letting them sit in this solution so they can clean i always let them sit in the solution um in the mornings like when i wake up but like at night because i don't because i try to save the tablets that i have and so at night i just brush them like i would brush my teeth so i know you're probably thinking shane you already have videos on your braces and you're getting them taken off and what you use to clean them why this video so i'm making this video because i um someone left me a question and concerning like my braces experience and i just wanted to film this video and you know honor their request so hi i'm gonna tell you about my braces experience and so first I want to start off with, okay, so I'm going to start off where I went, the location. So I went here in my hometown. It's literally just probably like five minutes away, the dentist's office. It used to be like in another uh, city near my hometown, but they sort of like collabed or like in the same building with another, um, with another dentist they do work in the same place and so yeah saves gas but um i the first time around i remember i had braces back in elementary school and for me they weren't half as bad as they were when i currently had them and i know when i had them in elementary school i used to always have to go for checkups and I remember when I first went in, um, this was in a different location. This was a uh, um, in another. This was also in another city, but it was a total different um, a dentist, total different company. And they told me that I would have to get braces again. And I don't really know what was the reason for me getting braces with them then, and didn't happen to get them a second time. I I don't know if it's something with preparing your teeth or something that, excuse me, something that just needed to be done in order to get braces the next time. I'm not really sure, but I cannot remember how much that cost. I think we probably ended up using some insurance, some uh, parents insurance. I'm not sure about that one, but that was the first time I had braces. And when I got those, I don't even think they were actually braces. For some reason, I'm not really thinking because they did nothing for my teeth. Like, my teeth were still, like, cricket. But a lot of people would say, oh, you have such a beautiful smile. Like, thank you. Thank you. But it was mainly, to be honest, I think those did help. Um, probably mainly, like, with the bottom. But as far as the top, like, no. So I'm not going to say that it didn't help when I was in elementary school. Because, I mean, obviously there's a reason why. And I've heard many other people say that they have to get braces they had to get braces two times you know what when they were younger and then they had to get them again so but now i wanted to discuss the cost so i called up my mom and i asked her i was like hey mom i have a quick question and so she told me that my braces were like thirty five hundred dollars i didn't we didn't have any insurance and so when we first went in they gave us these little Gave my it was me and my dad um and they gave us this little manual telling me what i not what not to eat and then we had to sign this little our uh, orthodontics braces agreement um and so the first time around i know like i have the paper right here let's see here i had to pay six hundred dollars my parents were helping me pay for them but then i decided to pay for them on my own once i got a job and i could keep up with the bills and the payments so it was thirty five hundred dollars but your girl saves all of her receipts at least i tried like the important ones and so plus this receipt and the six hundred dollar one that i just showed you plus how would i say this cover it up 
all of these receipts, which is what I paid. I paid 161 every time I had a dentist appointment. So I did 161 times 19 because I have, and this is 161 too. It was just a different receipt because I went and I counted all of these receipts and they were like 19 of these receipts. So 161 dollars and 11 cents times 19 gives you, yeah, okay. So then I did that plus the $600 that I had to pay. I'm pretty sure like on the first day and I got a total of, yeah. So it wasn't quite $3,500, but you know, that's how much it cost me because I didn't like, that's how much it cost us because I didn't have, we didn't have any type of insurance or we had insurance, but they didn't accept Medicaid or something like that. Yeah. Okay, now let's talk about the pain. The pain was real, I tell you. When I first got them, I had to get them on the top and bottom. Now, when I was in elementary school, I only got... Now that I think of when I was in elementary school, I only got them on the top, not the bottom. So I got them on top and bottom this time, and they really helped. But I have to keep wearing my retainers because they shift. Um, I like until April, I have to wear them 24-7, then I won't have to wear them as much after that. But they shift if I don't have them in. So that's why I try not to talk with them in without them for a long time. Or try not to be without them for a long time. But braces, like the pain, like I did not, I did not like it. It's like every time I went to go get them tightened, they, it, it, like it hurt. You could feel the tightness on your teeth. And, um, like whenever I went to go get like checkups, the experience there, it was nothing. It was quick. It did not take long at all. And I checked with my dentist to make sure like I didn't have any cavities or anything like after all of this was done. So someone reckon someone told me, um, to make sure I check to have them check and make sure I don't have any cavities because I spotted something in the very back of my mouth and they prescribe antibiotics for me. But, um, so like the swelling can go down because it's a wisdom tooth and she, one of the, um, the ladies who were helping me that day, she said that she recommends me just go ahead and get that pulled. Now me, all this time I was thinking, yes, thank you, Lord. I don't have to get a wisdom tooth pulled. Yes. Yes. But, um, probably I have to. And so, um, as far as the pain, I got a 1 out of 10, 1 meaning it didn't really hurt as much, 10 being it was extreme, extreme, I'll give it, I'll honestly give it a 5 because it did hurt, but also it only hurt for a certain amount of time. And there are, I ate pretty much of like whatever I wanted, the only thing I did not eat was gum and also, there are like for as far as like them scratching your um your like your lips i there were like these little wax that they gave me, and like you would like roll them up into little wax balls and like put them on your teeth. I took a picture of me with that, and I was like, "Ooh, no, that did not look cute, but yeah, so that's that's what helps it that keeps it from scratching your lips and stuff mm. Now, I I honestly, I sort of miss my braces, but I was like, oh, I'm going to miss these braces when they get done. I got my braces done on October, on October 31st, Halloween of 2019, and then I got them removed on sometime last year. I can't really remember. I think it was, maybe it was like. September or something I'm not sure but yeah so I had them for almost a, a year I said I would miss them but I'm so thankful that I got them off because I feel like I couldn't really eat what I wanted to eat do what I want to do I always had to be like conscious of what I ate which I'm glad that happened because like now like I eat chips but not like all the time I really don't chew gum like as far as keeping my breath fresh I use mints like sometimes I use Listerine scripts and then the other time I'll use the ice breakers and that that was it because you have to keep your breath fresh especially and I make sure to go and check out all of my videos of 
mean like my braces experience i highly recommend you go and watch all of those first including like what i use to like clean my braces and there are many other videos because i watch other videos that help me and they help me like learn how to take care of them and clean them and so it, it was a i enjoyed it because they were like really cute but i mainly tried to get like one color like i really like purple but a gray was like my thing like gray and um, like I really didn't go crazy with the colors or anything like that mm -mm -mm. Okay, so I know this is not pertain to it, but before I get to the retainers part I don't know how people get those little the little color bands from around their um, From around their braces, but I was in chemistry class. It was The the 10th or it was in high school and I was playing with these little rubber bands. I was like, oh, they look so cute. And I heard my classmates talking about, ew, I want somebody to leave that there. And in my head, I'm thinking, guys, they're just rubber bands, mini rubber bands. They came out of somebody's mouth. And I was just so disgusting. Oh, and I was playing with them and everything. Ugh. So just be mindful. Like, they're little. You, I'm just going to insert a picture so you know the little. That's what they look like. So if you see any of those little cute little rubber bands, mini rubber bands around, do not touch those because those were in someone's mouth. Ew, it's disgusting. Okay, but now on to retainers. So when I first got my retainers, I was like, <laughs> because they hurt it like really, really bad. It was like, um, they were like, I can't even explain it. They hurt worse than when I first got my braces. And I hated putting them back on. Like, once I took them off, I was like, oh, such a relief. And I put them back on, I was like, I thought about crying so many times because they, the retainers, they hurt. But a lot of people, some people get different retainers. I know one person, she, her retainers are sort of like, made like Invisalign. And I know my cousin has retainers and they're sort of made like Invisalign. But the orthodontist was telling me, the orthodontist was telling me that, um, those were not as effective so they wanted which i don't know how true that is so they wanted to give me the other ones which is the ones that i have now and um but now they don't really hurt but like i said before just be careful with how long you have them off and make sure you abide by like the rules of you know not leave only take them off like if you have to brush your teeth and if you're eating or something now if you if when i'm drinking something i don't take them off um but just be mindful and of retainers and like make sure you clean them very well because there are pictures of where retainers look really nasty and you'll notice it when the little white stuff start appearing. So please take care of their, your retainers and please take care of your teeth. Most importantly, take care of your teeth and wear your retainers. Now, like when I go back and put them on, I probably feel like a, a slight little tightness because I, I took them off. But I try to have them on 24-7 so my, my teeth won't shift and move and mess up. Because that's a lot of money going down the drain if I don't wear my retainers. And that'll be, I don't know what your insurance is like, but just buy by the rules and just make sure you're not eating any like very, very like hard foods with your braces. And just, I think they say you can chew sugar-free gum, although I'm not sure. I think I might have chewed gum. Um, probably like once or twice, but just overall just continue to like take care of your teeth and just like I said watch that video of what I use to clean my braces and as far as retainers I'm about to go show you now what I use and just a little bit of like everything everything that I used Okay so, okay, so my braces right now, well, not my braces, my retainers right now, they're soaking in this stuff. I could pour it out now because you're only supposed to leave it in here for five minutes, but, like, it'll be okay, I think. So, I usually get the little boxes of these, but, um, from Dollar Tree, and so, this is, like, five dollars and some change, and so, like, I thought about it, I will have to buy... And I think 20 came in the other smaller packs. So I'll have to buy five of those. And that'll just only be like 100. So I get like two more in here. So it'll be fine. I just went ahead and got this. So I won't have to keep going back and forth. But um, here's what the tablets look like individually. And they're like blue. They turn the water blue. And they clean your braces. They're really denture cleaner. But 
I use them to clean my retainers because I looked up what to use to clean my retainers in a lot of um, websites. The website like recommended this and a tongue scraper. I feel like these came in handy. I don't really use them as much as I used to, but I'm definitely going to start back using them. And I may even switch which tongue scrapers I use because I watched many videos where people use like different ones and those look a lot more effective. So I'm not, I'm not really sure. And then these are Dentrac. These are what I use to get in between my braces. And yeah, I really don't have a use for them anymore. But like these are really, really good. And retainer cases. So the only time I use like, so when I'm at work, I don't feel like bringing my case in. So I put them in a napkin which you shouldn't do. So I'm going to start bringing my case in starting today. So I will put them in a napkin. I either roll them up and put them in my pocket or roll them up and leave them on the table. Bad idea. Don't do that because there have been instances where people did that and the retainers got thrown in the trash. And so the orange one is the one that I leave at home. The purple one is the one that I keep on the go with me and I have my number in the back just in case I you, um, lose it somewhere. Yeah. And so as far as the toothpaste I use, I use Crest a lot of times. This is like the, usually the only toothpaste that I use. And that one time I used that like vegan toothpaste called um, like Hello. But I, I like this. I like Crest. It's pretty cool. Even though sometimes you can use it, leave a nasty taste in your mouth. And then the toothbrush, I usually like, I use the regular toothbrush, I think, with my braces. Sometimes I would use... Um, this toothbrush like what in the world is wrong with it, but that's because it just doesn't have like the top of it on there um, But yeah, I always take the top off and just leave it the bottom part up here But this is what I use now and I really like it because it has like the little circle in the middle and it really I feel like it really does well with cleaning my teeth Okay, so I hope you all enjoyed this video and comment down below. I really hope it helped you comment down below if you have like any more questions, specific questions. And um, I also want to mention that braces aren't the only option. Uh, uh, there's also like Invisalign and some other, like my dad mentioned that to me because it was a lot cheaper. And there are these, there's this YouTube couple that I watch, um, Ken and Deer or um, the DK gang. And I absolutely enjoy watching them. But Deara, she didn't have braces. I think she used some sort of like Invisalign or something that looks like Invisalign. Not really sure. But um, she, if you go and watch some of her videos, some of their videos, she talks about how her bottom two used to be really cricket. And like, it's like really different now. Like, because she, she didn't even have braces. She used a little, um, I'm just going to call them clear braces because I don't really know if, well, I'm just going to say Invisalign, even though I don't really know if it's Invisalign or something else. But it made a it made a big difference, and I, she seems to be fine with using those. So you always have other options other than braces, and I hope that you find something that is that's going to, like, that's more convenient for you and your family, and especially, like, financial-wise. And, um... Yeah, so I hope you all have a great day. I love you all so much, and I will see you all next time. Bye.